In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create your first report using SQL Server Data Tools. Let's get started. The first step is to open SQL Server Data Tools. And if you've been following along, you can open the project that, be, that we've been working on in previous videos. If not, you can download a copy um, from a link that's available in this blog. So let's open the project. Let's go to File, Open Project or Solution. And then we'll browse to the location where it's created. And I'll choose Solution, and it opens up. If the Solution Explorer isn't open, go to View, and select Solution Explorer, and it'll open. Once the Solution Explorer is open, right-click on the folder labeled Reports, select Add New Item, and now the Add New Item dialog window will open. In the list of available choices, select Report, and down in the text box labeled Name, go ahead and change that to Dashboard. Click the button Label Add, and a new report is created. So the first thing we need to do is add some data to this report. Click on the report design surface, select View, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and choose Report Data. And the Report Data window will open. Now, you have a couple of choices. Um, we can embed data sources and data sets directly inside of the report. But since we already created shared data sets in the previous videos, let's go ahead and leverage those. So right click on the folder labeled data sets and select add data set. And the add data set, um, data set properties window will open. You'll notice um, the, the shared data sets that are part, that are included in this solution will appear. Select get underscore schools, absences and tardies underscore AGGR. And go ahead and give it a name, something that you can remember. I'm going to give it the exact same name as the shared data source. I make sure I can spell. And click the button labeled OK. And now the data set is added. Expand this out just a little bit so we can see all the columns. And you can see all the columns that are available um, for us in that data set. In the next step, you want to open the Report To box. You have a couple of ways to do it. If you go all the way down to the bottom, directly below the Report Data window, you'll see a little um, tab labeled Tool, Toolbox. Click that tab, and now you see all the report items. Click the matrix and drag it onto the design surface. And now it's there. The next step is we need to go back to our Report Data. Click on the tab at the bottom, Label Report Data. And we're going to add some columns to our matrix. To do this, click school name and drag it into the field label rows. And now what you can do is instead of going back to the report the data set list, um, I'm just going to expand this out just a little bit so we'll so we can see things a little better. If you click into the columns field, columns column, you'll notice the little field select icon, click it, and then you can choose the icon, the um, column that you want to display there. So we're going to say school year, and then in the data column, we're going to choose tardy. Okay, let's minimize this just a little bit and expand this out just a little bit more. Just doing a little formatting, and now go ahead and click preview. When the report previews, you'll notice that there is a parameter. It's requesting that you enter a value. Right now, it's just a free text box. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to customize this so you can provide a drop-down list for the end user to make their experience a little better. But for now, just go ahead and enter capital N, capital W. Go ahead and click the button labeled View Report. And now our report will go ahead and run that store procedure, and you can see our generated data. We'll spend some time in the next video customizing the parameter. For now, let's go ahead and do a little customization on our report. Click in the field um, that contains some tardy. Right click and select text box properties. Go to number. In the list of um, category items, select number. Choose the comma separator. We don't want any decimals, so set that to zero. Click OK. And then click direct, click the gray bar directly above school year. And then in the um, format toolbar, click center. And now everything is centered. And now preview the report one more time. And you can see how we quickly, well, we had to do one thing. Let's enter our parameter again. Click view report. 
you can see how we quickly formatted this up okay as always if you have any questions or concerns record regarding this video or any of the previous videos feel free to email me at pleblanc at sequellunch.com thanks for watching